I had to stop here last night in Raton, I think it is, Colorado or uh, New Mexico. It's like the last town before you get up to or across into uh, Colorado. Last town in New Mexico, I think. Anyway, I, I was planning to go on into uh, Colorado last night because I got a Walmart that I usually park at. But I didn't know about this place and it was there was parking available. I had to stop anyway. So I thought, hey, why don't I just stop here for the night and I can go over the, the pass um, in the morning during, well, during daylight. So that's what we're doing. We are heading up the hill in just a minute. And then uh, there's a pass um, right at the border. The state line is like almost right on the uh, mountain pass. <clears throat> I don't remember what it's called. We are steadily climbing up the hill.
we're just coming into the southernmost uh, suburbs of the Denver metropolitan area. Um, I think the town we're going through now is Lone Tree. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, a lot of development going on down here. Um, new shopping, new businesses, new roads. Yep, it's growing, growing, growing. Anyway, um, I didn't record anything between Pueblo and here. Um, frankly, I was busy fighting wind and dealing with traffic. So there's, there's a lot of traffic between Pueblo and Denver. Um, but when I was passing through Colorado Springs, I happened to notice, and it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what it was, the uh, Air Force Thunderbirds um, were doing flight maneuvers over Colorado Springs. Now, to the extent that I was able to catch glimpses of it, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, they were they were doing all kinds of maneuvering and <laughs> blowing smoke. <laughs> I was gonna say passing gas, but <laughs> blowing smoke <laughs> out their tailpipes um, periodically. Anyway, it was pretty cool to watch. I didn't know that they. I mean, I had forgotten that they were based out of Colorado Springs at the Air Force Academy, um, and I didn't. I wouldn't have expected that they would be doing those low, relatively low altitude maneuvers over a built-up area. So I was surprised to see that. Anyway, sorry to get any that any video of that, but I don't think it would have shown up anyway because of the type of lens on my camera. It's a wide-angle fisheye lens. Which is great for catching, you know, like 170 degrees of panoramic beauty, but it makes things look farther away than they actually are. So I don't think the jets would have shown up. So that's that's been my experience in the past. Anyway, um, so we're coming, getting into the. We are in the Denver metropolitan area. We're only 19 miles from our destination, and. Uh, Keep plugging along. Tech school. Met 
my first wife here. She was also going to tech school. And uh, learned to ski here. Well, not here, but you know, up the mountains. Good times. Actually, got both of my tattoos on Colfax Avenue. I had a tattoo brother on Colfax Avenue. <laughs> yeah. A long time ago. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to click the like button. Not only does this let me know that you liked it, but it tells YouTube that they should promote it to others. This really helps me out. If you enjoy watching my over the road trucking adventure videos, please subscribe and then click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are available.